Hi friend. So let's get started. In this tutorial, one we will learn about like what is CSS selector, importance of this selector in web automation, and the different types of CSS selector, and few more things. So CSS selector, this is again an address of a web element in web page. So like any other selector, it is used to locate a web element in web page. The big thing about here it is that that we locate now an element on a web page on the basis of its property like you see here if a parachute or if our flight taken take off from here and it used to go to another place how it used to locate the other place it used to locate with uh, with its uh, properties like uh, with axis like longitude and uh, all those directions things i'm not that expert in that I'm not a pilot, but uh, I hope you got that point. Like with the name, it can't go to that place. Like in like Google Map, we used to put the put the name of that place. Like that, uh, I want to go to this city, so that used to give you the map, and then you follow that path. So with the name, you can can't. So basically, text you can't use. That is the uh, main thing I want to highlight here. Like for this element, so here we cannot use the text. Uh, text thing text property this one to locate this element here i will have to we will have to basically use the property these are the property of this element like what is the attribute name is there the tag name is there so that we can use to locate an element with css selector so it's an again address and there are multiple ways to write in CSS selector that we will learn in coming lectures. Importance. It is again as important as XPath or any other CSS selector. Sorry, any other locator. And it is as important like tires of a car. Like if your tires tire your car doesn't have good tires, then it will not run for long, right? It will break down it will stop just in like single run so you we will have to make sure that we write a good locators good selectors good CSS selector in our script so it is really really important for an automation script like if you are writing in Cypress WebDriver IO or in JS framework where you use only CSS selector not XPath or any other locator then in that case you will have to make sure that you write the robust and very stable selector so that your script lasts for long and you need not to like uh, change or uh, fix your selectors again and again and they don't get changed immediately type of css selector actually like uh, fundamentally uh, fundamental concepts there is nothing like this no uh, not a type of css selector nothing like that it we used to keep def uh, we used to define it on the basis of our writing pattern like sometimes we used to call it like absolute CSS selector because there are indexes and then we call it we start calling it as a relative CSS selector because we are writing CSS selector with respect to some parent or child or with respect to you can say any other element so that's where we start calling that like to uh, convince our uh, way that this is the pattern we are following to write the CSS selector same goes for XPath as well actually like there we used the term absolute xpath relative xpath so same here like C C for css selector you can say that there is an absolute uh, uh, means the it defines basically the type is on the basis of the way we write but actually there is no type like <clears throat> this is very important css versus css selector in general like on a day-to-day -day basis uh, like uh, while talking or while conveying things between testers and developers we very frequently say okay change the CSS selector CSS, uh, change the CSS maybe CSS is breaking but actually for selector when we say that CSS CSS is not the right term for selectors CSS is actually the <coughs> cascading style sheet I said the full t uh, full form of CSS cascading style sheet this is basically used to design and the prop define the property of this element like it is looking at uh, it is showing in red color uh, capital uh, 
letters or you can say like here you see when it currently it is blue and when hover it's red so this is defined through css these designing pattern and the look but to locate this element where is this on the page and then performing some action on that that is where we write the address and that is the css selector so here for us to locate the element right term is css selector not css css is wrong term for selectors css is the cascading style sheet which is used to define the pet uh, means design pattern here like how these elements will look what behavior they will change when we'll hover when we click or whatever we do okay i hope you understood so this is the right term css selector for when we are talking about selectors locator then this is the right term it's not css css is different something different xpath versus css selector okay so this is very common question asked and people uh, always discuss about it like uh, uh, the very first thing before that uh, xpath and css selector both are the address of the web element it is used to locate the element now coming to that difference between so uh, not going in that definition thing because uh, xpath comes from xml query and all and then css selector is based on the uh, okay so basically xpath is uh, like based on xml queries and css selectors are based on the properties of an element like id i uh, means we can use the attributes only attribute values whatever there is in, in this dom uh, available for that particular element or in the dom while to write x i mean the biggest difference when, when you will be writing that is that the text you can use to write the xpath this text and which is very powerful function in xpath i personally feel like that's a very huge huge like uh, the i mean one of the very good feature which xpath supports while css selector doesn't support that is that that we can use the text function and it makes like very easy because most of the i mean many a times we get the text but if we write have to write the css selector we can't use this so that's the biggest difference while writing xpath and css selector and of course xpath has a i mean uh, means very vast number of functions and easy uh, more flexibility actually there so uh, yes but otherwise uh, if we talk about performance thing yes css selector theoretically is faster than xpath because when you write xpath i mean uh, not going into that uh, how this uh, work in system here in engine but uh, according to uh, the latest browser engines all are developed in js so due to that like now there is not a uh, big difference in uh, xpath and css selector functions uh, sorry performance with the naked eyes we cannot uh, figure out whether xpath is faster or css selector is faster but yes theoretically css selector is faster than uh, is better than xpath in performance so major two difference is like xpath you can have the you have more flexibility you can use the text function while in css selector you cannot use that xpath doesn't support shadow dom css selector support supports shadow dom all those things we will learn in, in coming lectures and uh, yeah so these are some of the key differences between xpath and css selector but if you get easily css selector always prefer css selector over xpath then uh, in the next lecture we will learn different functions about xpath and how to write that uh, about css selectors and uh, how to write that thank you